Hello and welcome back to Hundred Set Info. In this video, I will show you what to do if you have forgotten your lock screen password for Redmi Pad 2 Pro. Let's begin. So let's say that we have locked our screen and we have the lock screen jump scare. Who could have guessed? But the problem is that we have forgotten our lock screen passwords and we cannot gain access to our device. Now, technically, there is a slight amount of hope that you can reboot your device by pressing and holding the power button and going into reboot and maybe something will miraculously happen because maybe it's the mistake of the software. But I will be honest with you, the chances of that happening is are very, very low. And because you know you have a new password, because you actually search for this type of video, I will just go and start uh, showing how you can gain access to your tablet back. First of all, we want to press and hold the power button and volume up button. And now let's simply power up our device. Let's give it a couple of seconds to make sure that it is, car and it is completely powered off. And now we want to start pressing and holding power button and volume up button. But this is very important. The moment you see me logo on the screen, you want to release power button. So power button and volume up button combo. And we are waiting for the me logo. And when it appears, we are releasing the power button while still pressing the volume up button. But after a moment, it is okay to just release it. And we have the recovery mode, which we wanted to access this whole time. So now a little bit of fury. In order to gain access to our device, we first need to wipe our password. But in order to wipe our password, we need to wipe everything. And with wiping everything, well, it comes the everything price, because not only the password is going to get deleted, it's also, for example, images are going to get burned, um, photos, that's the same, uh, like videos, your applications, your contacts, your message history, of course, unless you have a backup enabled. But if you don't, you're just going to lose everything that you have on your hard drive right here. Which is kind of a shame. Anyway, after that little warning, and yeah, just a, a, almost uh, like let's continue with the warning. If you are 100% sure that you have forgotten your password, only then proceed with wipe data. If there is a slight amount of hope, there is that one combination you haven't tried yet, you should try it. So, uh, as a little uh, information, you move around in the recovery mode by the clicking the volume buttons, and you agree with power button. So let's go into web data, let's click it, let's go into web data, let's click it, and finally we have the last confirm. Are we confirming that we want to wipe all of data? Let's go down, let's click confirm, and it's happening. And actually it happened, it's very very quick. Unless you have a lot of different things on your phone, some of the tablet, maybe then the process will actually take longer but from my experience it's usually something like this and now we can go and go back to the main menu by clicking the power button and let's simply hit reboot and reboot the system now the rebooting will actually take quite a long time this is because our uh, tablet is now going through the process of setting up the system itself and the whole process of this can take to up i don't know maybe a few minutes at best uh, that is very, very common to see. And yeah, after uh, this is done, we will see the setup screen and we should be good to, well, set up our newly, newly created, um, newly created uh, OS, which is of course our system. And if you want to learn how to actually go through the process of setting up that system, you can always watch our system tutorial. But anyway, that's all for this video. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.